Back Nation Report. Well, what a wild, wild year it's been for those Arkansas Razorbacks, but that all doesn't mean a thing because tonight those Hogs back in Fayetteville with their spot in the final eight secured Arkansas going to the College World Series today. They took down Florida State. Hey, a phenomenal game. So we're going to show you all the highlights. Brett Eibner on the mound for the Hogs. He pitched great for the first third of the game in the fourth inning. The Seminoles getting a run on the board. Mike McGee with a single. Florida State has the one to zip lead. But hey, Arkansas is going to bounce right back. First pitch of the next half inning. Andy Wilkins going yard. It's a solo shot. We are tied at one. The Knowles would add four in the top of the fifth. It's five to two now in the bottom of the seventh. Bases loaded for Scott Lyons. Sharp to third, but Stuart Tapley with the error. Two run scores. It's five to four FSU. Two on, two outs. Freshman Bo Bingham at the plate. Man, did Bo play well today. Base hit up the gut, three for four for Bo on the day, top of the ninth. Maybe the final strike of the game because Arkansas is now on top. But Steven Cardulo going to keep this game going. He doubles in two runs. We are all knotted up at seven. Steven is pumped after he slides into second with that double. And then Cardulo would come home. Jason, Jason Stitham other way, the RBI single. State has the one run lead. Arkansas has three outs to try to get two runs. So now we're in that bottom of the night. Two on, one out. Andrew Darr. Could it be a walk off homer, his second of the day? Not just short, but I'll tell you what, it doesn't really matter because two runs are going to score. Walk off double, scoring those two. The Hogs going back to Omaha for the first time since 2004. Their sixth trip to the College World Series in school history. Nine to eight, your final. Darr with an unbelievable game. Four for five. Three RBI, one homer, and of course that walk-off double to seal the deal. The nation was on the ground in the Sunshine State, so let's talk to the skipper, see exactly how Dave Van Horn feels. Here's AP from Tallahassee. All right, we're here with Coach Dave Van Horn just after the Super Regional victory over Florida State. You take two over Florida State, two over Oklahoma, beat Washington State five in a row. What a streak you're on. Talk to me about your, your emotions right now. Oh man, just really excited and pretty pretty tired actually mentally. That game was very draining and you know, just just really excited for the players. You know, I've I've had the opportunity to go to Omaha and you know, be around it and and these guys like like Ben Shepikov, 5 years in the program, two or three you know, injuries and surgeries and I'm just happy for him and some of these older kids they get an opportunity. This team was written off. You lost the last eight conference games, uh, you know, and what happened with Vanderbilt in the tournament, but you never gave up these Razorbacks. No, we kept telling them there's enough in there. You know, we don't know, you know, how far we could go, but we knew we could make a run, and, and we never quit on them. They didn't quit on us. There was a lot of people that were frustrated with us back home, and, you know, we just said let's band together and do what we can do, and uh, good things will happen, and we, saw, we all stayed strong and positive, and it, it worked out. You've said all year that this was a good team, not a great team. Is this team good enough to win the national championship? Well, I don't know. We'll find out, won't we? I don't know. You know, I mean, this is a team that, you know, we can't really start talking too much because we'll get ourselves in trouble. It's just a, just a team that plays hard and, and loves the game, and they really, really like each other. Anything you want to say back to our statewide audience? Oh, just appreciate all the support uh, the last seven years, and this year was unbelievable. Um, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll play well in Omaha. All right, Arkansas Razorbacks heading to Omaha. Thanks for your time, Coach. Thank Good you. luck. Right, so Guys, let's head back to you. Hey, AP, thanks a lot. Huge night across the river in North Little Rock. Twister is going for win number eight on the year. And the Travs, they are handing out these free towels. Check it out. 2008 Texas League champions. Those are really cool, whether you want it for a towel or even a banner. So let's get to Dickie Stevens Park. Arkansas looking for win number 23 on the year. Hosting the missions of San Antonio. One on in the top of the second. Brian Joint smokes this one. It's gone, right? Actually, it stays in the park. One run scores. Mission up one to zero. Your final five to zero San Antonio. Those two are going to do it all over again tomorrow. Let's go indoors for some football. Now Oklahoma City grabbed the open onside kick. And on the first play from scrimmage, Robert Kent finds Al Hunt for the score. Yard dogs up seven to zero. Then the twisters go to the ground. Lawan Edwards with the score. Twister's cut into that OKC lead, but in the end, Oklahoma City with the upset over Arkansas. 56 to 54, your final. And before we go, Courtney, one last note. We got that triple crown race. The right. Belmont, it was won by Summerbird. 
Not, not the mine favorite. That bird. <laughs> mine that bird. Summer bird was the third place horse in the Arkansas Derby, so that definitely helps out Oaklawn for next year. Hopefully, a lot of great horses are going to be coming out of Oaklawn in the years past. Yeah, to, that's to definitely going to be really cool for recruiting. Yeah, absolutely. All right, thanks a lot, Aaron. Yep. And you guys stick around. We'll be right back.